bored. Miranda, would you clean your room? Uh, it's already clean. Well, did you do your homework? I already did. All right, whatever. Hello? Hey, Bailey, it's Miranda. What are you doing? Absolutely nothing. What are you doing? Same here, nothing. I'm so bored, I feel like we've been stuck at home forever. I know, right? I can't believe it's only been a week. Hang on, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Bailey. I'm so excited about Camporee this weekend. It's going to be so much fun. And our troop has been preparing so much that I think we're going to do really well at all the competitions. The troop brought new tents, and uh, my camp? they're awesome. And my mom got me a new sleeping bag last year, and it's awesome. It would be so awesome if our two troops can get lots of ribbons, and maybe we can medal in certain Cameron. categories, and maybe... What? Camry got canceled. What? Yeah, it got canceled. No, Campery is canceled? Yeah, didn't you know that all scouting events got canceled? Wait, shoot, Miranda's still on, on hold. I'll join her in the call. Miranda, you still there? Still here. What took you so long? Cameron's on the phone too. He didn't realize Campery got canceled. Hey, Miranda. I still can't believe it. Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna get Sam and Nathaniel on the line. We have to tell them about Camp Marie. They are going to freak out. Hey, Bailey. Are your school classes still online now? Yep. Me too. I heard that some schools don't... don't have that. And the teachers are just emailing assignments to their students. I heard that too. This whole thing is just insane. Agreed. Hey, you guys still there? I'm here. Yep, I'm here. Sam, Nathaniel, and Charlotte are on now, too. They already heard about Camp Marie. Hi, Charlotte. Hey. hey, everyone. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Hey. Hello. Hey. Not only is Camp Marie canceled, but all of the Cub Scout events were canceled, too. Sorry to hear that, Chase. Thanks, Sam. I'm sure there's other Cub Scout events that you can do, right? Nope. All canceled. Nathaniel, have you heard anything yet? No. Only that everything has been canceled. There's like thousands of Scouts now with nothing to do. You're right, Nathaniel. It really sucks. I wonder if there's something we can do. Hold on. Hold on. I think I've got a great idea. It's Scout Saturday Live! It's Scout Saturday Live! With Nathaniel Cox, Charlotte Green, Cameron Irvine, Bailey Vincent, Sam Yamosta, and your host. Miranda Janae. And now, Miranda Janae. Hello and welcome everyone. It's so exciting to have you all here today. The weekend has finally arrived and it's time to officially have some fun. We put this show together for kids and most of you guys watching right now are in Cub Scouts from all over the country. I am in Southern California along with the rest of the gang, who I'll introduce to you in a minute. We have already been receiving fan mail from scouts and leaders alike all over the country. So, I want to shout out to our scouting friends in New Hampshire, Florida, Texas, New York, Georgia, Ohio, Washington, and everywhere else you guys are watching from. We would love to hear from you. We want your feedback as well as all of your suggestions. Later in the show, we will tell you how to get in touch with us. But first, I want to introduce to you my co-hosts. First up is Sam. Thanks, Miranda. I'm Sam Yamashita. I'm 15 years old and a Life Scout in Troop 719, which is part of the Pacifica District of the Greater Los Angeles Area Council. I can't wait to share the fun that we have planned for all of you out there. Thank you, Sam. Now, let's hear from our friend Bailey. 
Hi everyone, I'm Bailey Vincent and I'm a Star Scout from Troop 22G. Um, we, my troop is a part of the Reyes Adobe District in the Western Los Angeles County Council. It's so great to see you, Bailey. And from the boys side of Troop 22, we have Cameron. Hey Miranda, hi everyone out there. I'm Cameron Irvine and I'm a Star Scout and I'm 17 years old. Uh, as Miranda mentioned, I'm in Boys Troop 22, and I'm really excited to be with you all today. We're going to have a great show. You are absolutely right, Cameron. We have a ton of fun planned for everyone. Next, let's meet Charlotte. Thank you, Miranda. It's great to see you, and hello to everyone watching. I'm Charlotte Green, and I'm an apprentice Sea Scout with Ship 481. We're called the Mystic Yankee, and we're located in Canoga Park. We are also a part of the Western Los Angeles County Council. This is my brother, Chase, Hello. who will be joining us from time to time. Chase is an Arrow of Light Scout, and he's looking forward to joining his Scout's BSA troop later this year. Thanks to Charlotte and Chase. And last, but certainly not least, say hello to Nathaniel. Hi guys, I'm Nathaniel Cox, an Eagle Scout in Troop 10 of the Reyes Adobe District, which is a part of the Western Los Angeles County Council. This is going to be an amazing show today. And we're all so excited to have fun together. We may be sad that a lot of scouting events have been canceled, but we're here to bring back the fun. So, let's get started. Yes, let's do it. Today's show will include two parts. Let's get started with part one, a scavenger hunt. Sam, tell everyone how this is all going to work. We're going to tell you some things that we want you to find. Now, you may not be able to find all the items that we ask you to find, but it's okay. Just do your best. You can get everybody in your house to help you. Just have fun with it. Okay, everyone get ready. Let's put a countdown on the screen. There. We'll give you guys two minutes to find your items. Some will be very easy to find and others a tad bit harder, but just like Sam said, just do your best. Should we start with the first group of items? Go for it, Cameron. Okay, before I tell you the first items, make sure you have a place to put everything, like a room in your house or a table. Make sure it's somewhere that your parent or guardian is okay with. Now, everybody ready? Here we go. The first items we want you to find are dominoes, chopsticks, popsicle sticks, and a ruler. Ready, set, go! Dominoes, chopsticks, popsicle sticks, and a ruler. Do your best. You have just about one minute left. crazy. Okay everyone, ready for round two? <laughs> Our countdown clock has been reset. Here are the items to find this time. 
wooden blocks, a bowl, string, tape, and a hammer. Ready? Three, two, one. Wait! Wait, wait, wait. First, I wanted to say hi to everyone from my troop. Troop 10. Hey guys! And go! You only have 30 seconds left. Make sure you get everyone in the house to help you. What did y'all do? I hope that wasn't too hard. Let's pause for a second and tell you guys what you can do with all the cool things you just collected. Now we're going to build a Rube Goldberg machine. A what machine? A Rube Goldberg machine. Rube Goldberg was an artist. He also went to the University of California at Berkeley where he learned about engineering. He loved drawing cartoons about cool machines that use simple things that you can find around your house. Exactly. Mr. Goldberg loved being creative to make machines that can do something really simple, like feeding a cat or pouring milk in your cereal and so much more. Here's an example of a Rube Goldberg machine. You can see that all the items in this Rube Goldberg machine are things that people have in their houses. Things like books, tubes, blocks, toys, and more. Let's look for more things for our amazing machines. Chase, what should we find this time? How about balloons, marbles, balls? They can be tennis balls or baseballs or even a bowling ball. A to toy cars, oh, and plastic water bottles. Ready, set, go! Like Chase said, balloons, marbles, balls, toy cars, and plastic water bottles. You got this!
One. That's it. Great job, everyone. Great job, everyone. Now, there are lots of other parts you can find around your house to build your Rube Goldberg machine. We're going to post some suggestions on the Scout Saturday Live webpage later on today. So, get your parent or guardian to help you visit bsa-la.org forward slash SSL. The website is right there on the bottom of your screen. We would also like to thank our friends at Eventine, who have generously supported our program. For more information about Eventine, check out their website at eventine.com. All of us at Scout Saturday Live are thrilled to have so many fans and followers watching today. So, we want to give a shout out to some of you. Hello to Cub Scout Pack 165 in Norfolk, Nebraska, the Twin Rivers Council in New York, Cub Pack 246 in Woodland Hills, California, Troop 190 in Antioch, Illinois, Cub Scout Pack 1786 in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Pack 777 in West Hills, California, the South Texas Council, Troop 437 in Hubert, North Carolina, Pack and Troop 805 in Phoenix, Arizona, the West Tennessee Area Council, the Last Frontier Council in Oklahoma, Cub Pack 262 in Pleasant Hills, California, Pack 413 in Hepzibah, Georgia, and Troop 985 in Roswell, Georgia. Hello to all the Cub Scouts in Pack 984 in Fairfield Township, Ohio, Troop 474 in West Hills, California, and finally, a big shout out to my own troop, Troop 10G in Reseda, California, in the Western Los Angeles County Council. Thank you all for your wonderful emails, posts, and support. Now, let's check in with Nathaniel to see what he's up to. This is my Rube Goldberg machine. It took a little while to build, but I'm really glad with how it came out. Now, let's see. You want, want me to show you how it works? So, it starts with a ball. I'm going to throw said ball across this plank. It's going to be guided by these chopsticks, chopsticks, and it's going to get funneled to hit these wood blocks. Now, the whole thing is suspended is on top of two of uh, three cardboard boxes and two crates. Now, when it hits the wooden the wooden dominoes, the wooden blocks, they'll act as dominoes propelling going forward and transferring energy to each other until it hits this chopstick on the bottom. When it hits this chopstick, it'll go forward on the bottom, which means that it'll go backwards or this way on the top, hitting these dominoes, real dominoes. Now, these dominoes will topple against each other, blip, 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 and then they'll hit this wood block. Now, it'll keep going until it hits this water cup. The water cup should tip over, spill out its water, and then get funneled with the funnel into this tube. This tube made of PVC pipe and pool noodle. Now, the tube will get the water all the way to its final destination, my plant. Now, all of this stuff can be found with our scavenger hunt. So if you did pretty good on the scavenger hunt, you could build this. Now, you don't have to build exactly this. The cool thing with Rube Goldberg machines is that you can be creative. And most importantly, have fun. Now, let's get to the fun part. Oh well. The chopstick has been giving me trouble, so let's try this again. This is the one. Amazing? Oh, that was awesome! With these kinds of things, not only are they fun to watch, they're also fun to build too. Anyways, that was my Rube Goldberg machine. That was so cool! Nice job! I put together a, a machine as well. Let's take a look at it. This right here is my Rube Goldberg machine. When I was creating this, I always kept in mind one thing that I always dreaded doing. And this one thing was feeding my dog. So, if you come in a little bit closer right here, 
You can see that it all started with two paper towel rolls. I cut one a little bit shorter and made a little bridge in the middle. I have Jenga blocks, dominoes, a simple party cup, a larger marble, more Jenga blocks, a small necklace or string you could use, along with my dog's food. But you can't have dog food without a very hungry dog. So, I can activate this all using just one marble. That was awesome, Miranda. Now we want all you at home to make your own Rube Goldberg machines. Get your family to help you. When you have it working, send us a video of it in action. We'll look through all of the videos and pick the ones that show off the best machines. We're going to show the best machines on our next Scout Saturday Live program, which will be on Saturday, April 11th at 10.30 a.m. Pacific. We're also going to send a special collectible patch to the three scouts who submitted those videos. Just like Charlotte said, our next show is two weeks from today on April 11th. We have some crazy science experiments planned and you'll want to be prepared. I mean, it's the scout motto. So what will you need? I honestly have no clue, but be sure to check back on the SSL webpage to find out. On behalf of all of my co-hosts, I hope you enjoyed our first Scout Saturday Live show. If you want to learn more about scouting, be sure to visit BeAScout.org to find a scouting unit near you. So, until next time, I'm Miranda Janae. Be safe, wash your hands with soap and water, and have, a, and have fun building those machines. Bye! If you want to learn more about scouting, be sure to visit uh, I love Saturdays. Sam! Mm -mm. How did you guys all do? I hope that wasn't too hard. This is my Reuben Goldberg machine. Uh, <laughs>